Who would have ever thought that the Ice Racers would be back, let alone from Tomika? Man, I can't believe this, but don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I'm celebrating. I actually really like the Ice Racers. It was one of my favorite transcontinental race of champions lines up there with Carbon and Carnival. I like those a lot better than I like the Silver and especially the Neon Racers they did. But yeah, guys, I am very excited to get into this review of the four new Tomika Ice Racers that they just put out. And they are expanding it, putting it into the new age by doing Cruz Ramirez and Jackson Storm from Cars 3. And of course, the obligatory Mater. It seems like every expanded universe line, whether it makes sense or not, has to include a Mater. Whether it's XRS Mud Racers, whether it's Fireball Beach, whether it's the GRC Global Racers Cup, because we know Mattel is doing a mini racers version of Mater in the GRC paint job. So it's wild that Mater gets so much attention these days for not being a racer, but I understand it. Now, just to let you guys know, I got these off eBay. They are available on eBay from Japan. That is where mostly Tomika cars are sold. And yeah, I will be comparing McQueen, at least, to his Mattel version and the Disney Store version. By the way, guys, I have to say, I think Disney Store was the superior ice racer beholder because they did the most characters in ice racing paint jobs because they went ahead and did the super chases, basically, the international racers that appear in their own country versions of Cars 2, like the Swedish version here for Flash, the Chinese version for Longe here etc. Memo Rojas. Now, Mattel did do Frosty and Vidaly Petrov, so it did make it the largest TRC, TROC line that they had ever done because Carbon did not get the Vidaly and Carnival didn't get Vidaly or even a Frosty. So we're going to do a bunch of comparisons. We're going to open all these up, but let's take a look at the boxes here real quick. Starting with McQueen. Now, Tomika did do a version of Ice Racers McQueen in the past, but it has become extremely rare. The expression is a little bit different and it has black tires. They're not covered in snow. So take note of those differences. And yeah, when they're going to revive the line, they of course have to do another version of McQueen. They're big on doing a lot of like reworks, a lot of re kind of toolings of cars they've done before, just slightly different. Now, unfortunately, I don't read Japanese, but I would presume that says Ice Racers, Light McQueen. It probably says Light McQueen Ice version. Takara Tomi. And it does give you multiple angles of the car, which I've always appreciated on these Tomica boxes. They seem to put so much useful information on here in just a very small bit of room. So we're just going to put him off to the side. So they did McQueen and Cruz Ramirez hit first, and then they went ahead and did Jackson Storm and Mater. And again, they show multiple angles of her so you can get an idea of what you're getting in the box. Man, this is awesome. I'm really happy that they did these and especially expanded into some new characters, expanding the lore, just expanding everything, right, guys? Maybe they'll do this for Carbon or Carnival. Tomika never did any Carnival racers in the past, but they did do quite a few of the Carbon racers, so that's something interesting. Here is Jackson Storm. So all three of these guys are in the same kind of smaller box, but Mater here is in a larger box. So yeah, Mater and Jackson are the newest Tomica releases actually. Currently, they have not put anything out since these two. And I believe these are in my recent Giga Hall or the one that I'll be posting soon. Yeah, I think it's in my upcoming Giga Hall. So you kind of will be able to hear a little bit more about how I got them and just kind of, you know, more about the Ice Racers, the Tomica versions here. So now let's open them up. I don't think we're going to have to do a musical time lapse or anything. We'll just get to talk to you guys. I don't want to damage these boxes all that much, but you do kind of have to bend that flap in order to get it open. I just like how simple things are with Tomica. I mean, you know what you're going to get. It's a nice, easy to open box that you could preserve. A little baggy inside. Always comes looking beautiful. Man, even the wing on this one is metal, which I don't think is always the case. Although I've never had like a World Grand Prix version of Lady McQueen from Tomica, I guess this is the only one I've had, which is this uber rare, 
like Japanese paint job of McQueen. Uber rare, and that one does indeed have a metal wing as well. So I guess I'm just not used to you know, having a McQueen with a metal wing like that because all the Tomica McQueens I have for the most part are just the Cars 1 version where it's a part of the main body. And obviously with Mattel, they do not put a metal wing on their version. Of course not, that's going to be plastic 10 times out of 10 for any car. I mean, Cruz Ramirez included. So we'll see, I, I'm curious to see how they worked her. Maybe they gave her a metal wing as well. I would guess so. I would hope so. That would be awesome. I don't actually think they did. That is a plastic wing on cruise. So interesting stuff there. You guys are going to have to let me know. Think about which one of these is going to be your favorite when it's all said and done. I have no idea, honestly, going into it right now. It could be as simple as McQueen or it could be as crazy as Mater. I don't know. I don't think it will be made though if I'm being realistic. It will probably come down to Jackson and Cruz just because they're new and fresh and it'll be awesome to see how they kind of adapted the Ice Racers motifs onto some newer characters that you know don't have all the World Grand Prix decals that kind of lended itself to like a new version of the race. You know what I mean? I'll show you guys Miguel Camino, the ice racer version that Mattel did to give you an idea. Yeah, it definitely won't be Mater. We're actually going to start with Mater because it looks like we'll be able to knock him out super quickly. I mean, holy cow. I don't know really why they did this version other than to say, hey guys, we have a Mater. We're not excluding Mater, you know, even though he can't race. I don't really love the expression. It looks like they kind of tried to do what Mattel does, but they made the like burrowing in his eyelid way too sharp like see how it just goes and it's not as smooth as Mattel's so that's very interesting and they've never really done a good expression on Mater in fact I think they struggle with a lot of their expressions you know the one I just showed you is pretty ugly all things considered this one the Cherry Blossom McQueen not great eh, this one's mediocre but yeah, they're kind of like the Disney store, and it's probably why Mattel is so successful, because they do do a pretty good job with their facial expressions, but I also don't love the mouth. I've never loved Mater's mouth, because they put a huge gap in his teeth right there, and it just looks so weird. Just, ugh, doesn't look like Mater. Looks like a creepy version of Mater. But they did base this on the brand new version of Mater, where he's teal, Although they went with a little bit more of a lighter blue, a less green shade here. You could see Tomica, the name of the car, I think, made in Vietnam. So that's always interesting. And he does have the double tires back here that are separate, but they're on the same axle, covered in snow. Nice color. They seem to roll well. He's got the gray towing apparatus here in the back. You got the yellow and black stripes, so he's been freshly painted. Maybe he's like the rescue, the security vehicle, if someone runs off the track, which is possible in an ice race like this, very treacherous. I hope they, you know, mentally can in this as like Ice Racer or the Ice Cup 2, like Ice Cup V2 or something like that, because I'm not going to retroactively go in my brain and be like, yeah, Cruz Ramirez and Jackson competed in the 2015 version. No, 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 no. This is a new ice race that has taken place now in 2024. But yeah, there is the new Ice Racers logo that they're using. And I say new because it is in English, whereas we got used to seeing this logo in Russian. Now, why Russian? Because for each of the Transcontinental Race of Champions series, one of the World Grand Prix racers hosted it in their home country. This was Vidaly Petrov's race. They selected, actually, a racer that didn't appear in the American version of Cars 2 or the English version and many versions, only the Russian version to host this race. So it was a pretty deep cut, pretty creative. And yeah, so Russian, Russia, that is why that logo right there you could see has always been in Russian, but they did translate it here to English, which probably was a wise decision. You could see the little ice cup there as well. So a nice decal for sure, but pretty bland because Mater doesn't have a whole lot going on here. So he probably is going to be my least favorite, not to be mean or anything, but Mater doesn't lend himself very well to these types of paint jobs. I think he did a lot better, you know, as like a neon glow racers crew chief, to be quite frank. Now, I do like McQueen's expression here a lot. He looks very determined, burning the eyelids. I think he looks really good. 
And yeah, this is going to be pretty much a carbon copy of what we got from Mattel, what we got from the Disney store and what Tomica gave us in like 2016, 2015, right? All the decals are the same except for that one, which we will get to here momentarily. But I love how glossy the paint finishes on this Tomica version looks really good. Now, this was the era of the Hudson Hornet Piston Cup. So that's why McQueen has that decal. He's basically the World Grand Prix version with modified decals for the ice race. I love the blue trim that they put around him. Now, they didn't put any snow actually on his body. It's just the tires, which I will say look better than the Mattel version. I never was a big fan of Mattel's wheels. And although the tires look pretty cool, the way that they designed the snow on it, and it's a lot more realistic than just solid white. I like the spokes on this. It looks a little bit more like the actual World Grand Prix wheels he has. And then you have the light your tire or the yeah, light your tires there. But yeah, you could see right here where it says Ice Racers. Right there, it's in Russian. Now, to think about it a little bit more deeply, I'm pretty sure, pretty gosh darn sure, that this would just say Ice Cup. It wouldn't say Ice Racers, and yet that is what the new logo says. I'm pretty sure they just put the Ice Racers on there to call out, yay, these are Ice Racers, just like what we're advertising. Although, that is pretty corny and reminds me of how they put Road Trip on the Road Trip paint job of Lightning McQueen in the Disney Plus show. I think it's just super on the nose, way too corny. It would make more sense if it said Ice Cup, which I'm pretty sure is the better translation for that. Speaking of translations, you do have McQueen's name here on the original version in Russian, in yellow right there on the roof edges and below the number. So both of those were also translated to just straight up Lightning McQueen. Honestly, surprised that they went the effort to putting those in Russian in the past, but it was kind of a cool detail now. But yeah, we get a crisp look at the decals without any snow interference. You could see some additional decals. Look at that window there. There's nothing on it. Well, the Tommy conversion put the American flag and LM95 there below it. So that's pretty nice. I know that a lot of the racers kind of had their country flag still on them during these races. You do have the 95 decal on the roof there, which looks pretty good. The wing looks way better being metal and just a way glossier version of it. And I have to say, look at this radiator cap mountain decal with the RS perfectly clear. And then 1910 for the year that the town was founded. So cool because you can't see any of that. It's all blued out. Like it's completely not even printed on there. So you have to give Tomika some applause for that they did a great job with that mattel really dropped the ball with that because even the disney store did quite a bit better you know they did a much better job in fact the color of the radio cap mountain is different it's inverted you know blue versus black then the sky is black but yeah they at least have all the decals there properly so that's why i say the disney store did a really good job with this line and they also did a pretty good job with the expressions which they have also been known to struggle with. All right, so he's got his gas cap there, and on the back here you have Lightning McQueen and then Radiator Springs spelled out. So again, that is just kind of translate over from Russian, although I do believe that this says Lightning McQueen here. The Monica Maki. I have no idea how I just said that, but I think that says Lightning McQueen because I'm pretty sure that's the same spelling as that and that. And so that would lead me to believe that whatever is going on up here actually says Radiator Springs. So they just flipped them. It was supposed to be Radiator Springs there, McQueen here, and they just went back and forth on that. You do have that little hole back here. Someone was explaining to me what this was for. It was like for any excess oil or gas when they're filling them up like a residual catch-all. Yeah, like a catch. I think that was the proper term for it. So that's pretty cool. Thanks for letting me know about that. And yeah, you have the 95 up there. So a pretty cool comparison there overall. They are similar, but have quite a few differences to note as well. And of course, between the Disney Store version and the or the Tomica version, there are going to be the exact same differences for the most part here. Translated over from Russian. You do have less snowy tires there, but still light year. 
The Disney Store version did even put the American flag with the LM95 on that corner window. So yeah, again, just further proving my point that Tomica, you know, while doing a good job with these, may not come close to the Disney Store's effort. The Disney Store did a really good job on the ice racers and honestly all of the expanded universe lines, whether it be Carnival, Carbon, etc. I don't think they've done such a great job with the glow racers of present day though. Here we have Jackson Storm. So we have nothing to compare him to because of course Mattel has not done a Cars 3 set of ice racers. You know, Cars 3 came out two years after the ice racers started coming out, which was late, late, like December 2014. And then in the 2015, they did several waves completing all the racers and a Frosty exclusive to Australia as well. They did a four pack, two, and I think there was also a play set in there additionally. So much stuff, right? So much stuff. But yeah, I'm not big on this guy's expression. Like he's okay. Looks pretty much like a typical scowly, growly Jackson Storm. But you do have the Ice Racers logo there this time in full. You know, we did not see it in such large font or large lettering on McQueen because of his layout. So that's pretty cool. It's a nice logo for sure. I like the cup. I just don't believe that the translation from Russian was literally ice racers. I think it was like ice cup. You do have the next gen tires still just in white and then blue wheels, which looks really cool. So we have three American racers already in this version of the ice cup. All three McQueen, Cruz and Jackson race for the United States 2.0. JS20, you do have Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy, and then Igniter down here in the lower section with the light blue, and then you have still the Hurricane S here, the Storm logo, whatever you want to call it, the arrow to indicate where I'll lift them up at to do work on the base, which we could take a gander at here real quick. Nothing too special to note. You have A24 up there. That must be some sort of date stamp for Tomica, but I don't know how to read that. Not sure what it means is what I should say. You got the exhaust pipes, gas caps, some nice indentation there. 2.0 here on the roof. We need to make a poll. When are we finally going to come to a conclusion on what Jackson Storm's number is? Is it 2 or is it 20? You know, back in the day, I always thought it was 2. But I think I'm actually warming up to the idea that it's 20, but it's stylized to make it look like a 2. I'm honestly, I'm getting to the point where I think it is 20. I think it is 20. Just because that's why they put it all in white and then the dots in blue. So you can kind of understand like, oh yeah, they just put that there to make it look like 2.0. I don't know though. Igniter, liquid adrenaline there on the wing with the blue flares. That's pretty cool. They did remove his rookie racing stripes. I was a little worried about that. Of course, he does lose them about halfway through Cars 3, but you never know with this stuff. You do have Igniter Liquid Drown 2.0 and the Ice Racers logo back there. So not a whole lot going on with Jackson Storm. I mean, he fits the bill. He gets it done, but I don't think he would be anywhere close to one of my favorite Ice Racers if we combine them with Mattel and Disney Store stuff. But Cruz Ramirez, on the other hand, might make a case. By the way, his wing was plastic. So McQueen's the only one with a metal diecast wing right now out of these guys. But yeah, here we have Cruz. She's not rolling too well. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh yeah. Oh goodness gracious. Ooh. Ooh. What the hell is going on here, bro? Yeah, so this wheel back here is just completely screwed. This one seems to be okay. Yeah, this back uh, the right one is just wedged up there. And oh, oh, look at that. Just had to be kind of fondled a little bit. And I got it loosened up there. We're good to go. I was worried about that. Look at now. Yeah, now we're vibing. Good stuff. So Cruz has a really good expression, even more determined, I would say, than McQueen. But both of them look pretty awesome with that burrowing of the eyebrows there. So you have the Ice Racers logo. They're just kind of following a formula I could see here, which is a little disappointing. But, I mean, they all do look pretty solid. Oops, let's zoom in. You could see 
her contingency sponsors, Piston Cup, Combustor Carbon Cyber Synergy. So pretty much the same thing that we just saw with Jackson Storm, although Jackson Storm did not have the Piston Cup logo. So that's a little different there. And then he also had the 2.0 and the JS20 with the American flag placed up front. Cruz has CR... What does that say? Is that CRS1? Oh, no, CR51. Yeah, silly me. CR51, American flag, and her 51's over here. So a lot of them do have their numbers formatted that way. They all have them in the white box with the red trim. That's just kind of an Ice Racers thing. But yeah, I love how they put the dinosaur and everything here in the lighter blue. You have the Dynaco there. Again, the exhaust pipes, the gas cap. 51 it just would have been cool to me if they kind of enhanced the designs a little bit maybe put the signature like Lightning mcqueen has here well that's just his name but maybe put the signature there you know mcqueen's got radiator spring stuff going on i know this was based on you know his radiator springs team version of him which is like the evolution of the world grand prix version but i don't know it would have been kind of cool if they didn't do these so formulaically if you know what i'm saying but yeah, really cool Dynaco wing right there. And yeah, we could do a little comparison with her normal version. I like how they put it in black. It's a nice contrast there. And yeah, on the back here, 51 Dynaco. Good stuff for sure. I do like her quite a bit. She is my favorite. I have decided she's my favorite, but maybe in a couple years, I'll just look back and be like, yeah, nah, McQueen is way better. I just had some recency bias there for Cruz Ramirez. But it's at least not getting to me with Jackson Storm. Jackson Storm's a little bit disappointing, I would say. I thought he would have a little bit more pizzazz to him. Maybe change up his paint job a little bit. But yeah, they really just kind of went about it in a very formulaic way where they only changed up what they needed to and they just kind of copy and pasted the ice decals over. But then again, they did change up the paint over here with the S and same with Cruz. So there is that. Honestly, yeah, McQueen probably should be my favorite, but we're going to say Cruz today. And now it's your turn, guys, to let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite out of the new four Tomica Ice Racers. And who does it better? Is it the Disney Store? Is it Mattel? Or is it Tomica? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Now Tomica has two versions in diecast form. Of course... There's a canceled like metallic ice racing McQueen from a long time ago. The Disney store is a metallic version of ice racer McQueen as well. So it probably safe to say that the biggest TROC race is the ice racing race because there's just so much merchandise for it across so many brands. There's like this weird ice racers max, some sort of like German brand, I think it is. So Crazy stuff all around there. Before we end off the video, though, I do want to make good on my promise and show you guys that McQueen, nope, that Miguel, the Ice Racer Miguel, I just feel like he's a good base point for what Ice Racers could look like. You know, he's got the Russian decals, the five. He's got MG5 over here for Miguel, or MC5 with the Spanish flag there. Lots of turquoise, and yet, or not turquoise, but sky blue, which is basically what, you know, Tomika did here. They changed a few things. You know what maybe the missing piece is, is the snowflakes, because it looks like they have not stepped out of the hotel yet. <laughs> they look like they're in the cabin. They're in the resort, Getting nice, warm, and cozy by the fireplace. They have not stepped out to race one bit, it does not look like, yet. Maybe that's what they're missing. Maybe it literally is the fact that when we had them in Russian language, they seemed a little bit more real. They felt a little bit more authentic and organic with what we were going for. So maybe it's that. Maybe it's a combination of it all. But you guys let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious to see everyone's thoughts. I don't think there's a clear-cut favor with these at all. You know, if I were to guess, I think most people will say McQueen, but there probably will be a lot of people saying Jackson and Cruz and maybe even Mater as well. I mean, Mater is super <laughs> unique, I guess. I don't know. I still find it weird that they shoehorn him into all these different series. But anyways, guys, that is all for this video. As per usual, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time for another one. Bye now.